Welcome back again. I just listened to that last video and there was an awful lot of noise, so uh, maybe it will be better this time. Now, just a little bit of information about the OneNote. It's a uh, cloud service, so that what happens is that the uh, in the background, just like Dropbox or Google Docs or SkyDrive, your work is being synchronized and put up onto a server, but you are actually working on the C drive of your machine so that it's very quick. Now what I just did then was, you can see the path uh, here, this one is feeding from uh, Docs, Google Docs, whereas these ones are feeding from our NSI SharePoint server. Now if I right click and I synchronize the notebook then it will update any changes to the server I can go to another machine and, or students will then see that change now let's actually do a maths question I've got a question here and I'm going to keep that question blank for next year when I come to do it now last year I had a solution here uh, so let's just go back to this one. If I click it once more so that it's got a blue line around it, go copy and paste, I have got a version here now which I can scribble on and delete if I want to or make changes. You'll notice that I've got the draw menu up here with the different pens. I'm going to just uh, collapse that panel for a minute and I'm going to boost this up to 200% so that I can uh, work. Now I'm going to work on a tablet. I've just taken a photo of the hardware I'm using. Uh, I'm going to use this tablet here, pen and tablet, but normally in the classroom on the whiteboard it's much much easier on the smart board. So here we go, uh, that's the solution from before. So I'm just going to change this to solution 2. You'll notice that the heading changes here. All right, so let's just have a look at this equation. I'm going to grab my pen now. It works as if it's a mouse. So here I go. If I can't see it, I'm just going to touch it. I'm going to change that to a red pen. I'm going to rewrite my question. 2x minus 5 is equal to x plus 3 all over 2. Now, as far as the students are concerned, you can have the students come out and do this, or uh, you could demonstrate it, whichever. Now, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, but of course, it's really good if I put some brackets in. So I'm going to multiply that side by 2, and I'm going to multiply this side by 2. And you can change the colours if you like. I'm going to cancel that 2 with that 2, and I'm going to have... 4x here, whoops, whoops, now I've made a mistake, I want to change the colour, so I want to have uh, 4x here, minus 10 is equal to just my x plus 3, which I had. Alright, now what are we going to do next? We'll just work step by step, let's do a minus x and a minus x so we can have 3x now quite often it's easy to lose where your mouse is so I'm going to have 3x minus 10 is equal to 3 let's scroll down a minute we have now got one more step to go let's add 10 to both sides no we've got two more steps to go really but uh, you really don't need to listen to this, 3x because you're all good at maths, equals 13. Last step here is to divide both sides by 3, over 3, and then we're going to say pull x is equal to 13 on 3. I wonder if that's on our set of answers back up here. Well, we can't really see it at the moment. I can go back and get my proper cursor here. Ah yes, there's a 13 on 3. So let's just circle that. Let's just then go and 
back to 100% and have a look at it. So we have got, I'm going to go back to my mouse now because it's strong. So I've got my, uh, I can see exactly what page I'm on here on the left. I've got this year's solution, I've got last year's solution, and I've got my solution again ready for next year. Let's just go back and see what this looks like up on the web. Now I have the equations have not updated just yet. That's the original equation. And here's last year's solution. 